Okay, so this is nothing new, but I felt since everybody's talking about it, I might as well talk about it as well, because I assume you guys want me to give you my stance on this and what I think. Alright, so officially now we know that PlayStation 5 is going to happen most likely next year. So, my friend Drifter from UK, you were right. It's a good thing we didn't bet. Otherwise, I would lose the money. It's There's no question about it. 2020, we're looking at PlayStation 5. Uh, this is something that was being uh, talked about with Mark Cerny. As you all know, he's the uh, architect. He's the uh, lead designer architect of the PlayStation 5. From the GPU, CPU, the design, everything else. And... Uh, Mark Cerny recently had a interview with a Wired magazine and they asked him some questions about whether or not PlayStation 5 will be released this year and he says no 2019 it will not happen you will not see a PlayStation 5 this year so everybody can just relax on that what you're probably gonna hear this year it's a an announcement from Sony uh, for PlayStation 5 for 2020. But what's amazing about the PlayStation 5 and the one thing that it's going to blow you away is just how powerful uh, this console is going to be. And I mean really powerful. So let's just look at it. Let's see what the next generation uh, PlayStation 5 is going to have in store. And this is coming from Mark Cerny. Uh, think about it. AMD chip that's going to be equivalent to a uh, third generation of AMD's Ryzen chips. Okay. Which is uh, eight cores of the company's new ZNM Zen 2 micro architecture GPU with a, uh, I believe, I think he said a custom variant of Radeon. Uh, navy navi navi family will support ray tracing so not only are you going to have a like really state-of-the-art uh high-end uh, amd cpu but at the same time you're going to have a state-of-the-art gpu that's going to support ray tracing okay and god knows what they're going to do man uh with this kind of power uh, we're talking photorealism honestly i think playstation 5 we're going to be looking at the photorealism. Uh, it's going to make this Spider-Man game look like a joke in comparison to what we're going to see with PlayStation 5. And they're also going to support ray tracing. So that's going to be another thing. It's the ray tracing and it's going to look amazing. Okay, it's going to look super amazing. And on top of that, I think he also mentioned that... Uh, they're really going for that Hollywood visual effects, you know, they really want to uh, give the games that edge, you know, that Hollywood edge that we all been kind of, you know, uh, looking for and hoping for. And I think with PlayStation 5, we're going to hit the photorealism. So there you go, uh, my friend, Expert Joey. Seriously, man, uh, I think that the uh, photorealism is going to get here quicker than we think you know and I don't think I was too far off when I said 2021 uh, with this kind of horsepower that the PlayStation 5 is going to support and the uh, 8k resolution 33 million pixels with everything that's going to be cramped into it I think we're going to see some uh, outstanding uh, upscaling uh, to 8k games I don't think we're going to see native 4k 8k 8K games. I just want to point that out. I don't think we're going to see native 8K games. We're going to probably see uh, uh, something that's being upscaled to 8K or being checkerboard to 8K. But you're going to have a stunning, stunning uh, game. I mean, if this looks stunning now, if this Spider Man that you're looking at uh, that's being recorded in uh, native 4K, if this looks stunning to you right now on PlayStation 4 Pro, just imagine 100 times more better than this. 100 times more better than this. And then you're going to get 
kind of like uh, an idea where we're going. I mean, uh, the way these new games are going to look on uh, PlayStation 5, like the new God of War 2, uh, even if they do another Spider-Man, I mean, it's going to look the bananas. Uncharted 5, just imagine what they're going to do with Uncharted 5 and the kind of like super awesome realistic photorealism we're going to see there. So, um, I'm doing this purposely, you know, I'm doing like a Sam Raimi's, uh, you know, like a little homage, you know, remember in Spider-Man 3? <laughs> so, um, look man, this is great, this is great news, uh, I'm, I'm really blown away. I knew that the PlayStation 5, 5 is going to be powerful, but I didn't know that it was going to be this powerful. And uh, just imagine what they're going to do when they squeeze all that power from PlayStation 5. I mean, just imagine what Hideo Kojima is going to be able to do. Let's say if, if Hideo Kojima gets his license back from Konami to do another Metal Gear. Just imagine how bananas it's going to look, man, uh, with 33 million pixels. And then, uh, remember, it's probably going to be checkerboard to, to, to 33 million pixels. But still, it's going to look bananas. It's going to look just insane. Uh, dude, I was impressed with what I'm seeing right now. Dude, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing with this game, with Spider-Man. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing with uh, Days Gone. Unchar I mean, Days Gone, uh, The Last of Us 2... Death Stranding. I'm I'm impressed already, dude. I'm impressed already. And now imagine the kind of photo that's it, guys. I know. I'm being excited, but guys, I I'm telling you, photorealism, it's it's almost there. You know, I'm not the only one that, that has been talking about photorealism. Joe Rogan's been talking about it and he was invited to NVIDIA. Uh, behind closed door and they were showing him what they were working on with the Unreal Engines and uh, Cry Engines and whatnot. Guys, by 2026, by 2024, you're going to see some amazing photorealistic uh, games. Uh, it's just going to be bananas. I mean, it's just going to be pure photorealism. We're going to get there by 2026. I'm, I'm telling you right now. So, Listen, this is great news. Uh, this is being confirmed by Mark Cerny. You guys can go and read this if you go to um, wired.com and you're going to see all that. You're going to see just what Mark Cerny said. So this is coming from Mark Cerny, okay? I mean, he's the guy that's responsible for that console. He's the one that's designing that console. Uh, and it's good to hear that also the uh, head of AMD, I can't remember her name, uh, she's uh, head of AMD, she also uh, confirmed that, I believe her last name is Lee or something, so I apologize for not remembering her name, because I don't like follow AMD, I'm not like, you know, a hardcore AMD fan, even she confirmed that they have a, a great relationship and partnership with uh, Sony and uh, even she confirmed that, yeah, you guys are going to get, like, the best possible power that we can give you from AMD. And don't forget, AMD, man, I mean, when it comes to graphics, when it comes to both Xbox One X and PlayStation 4, uh, they've been really uh, outstanding. And they're, they've been also outstanding with their CPUs and GPUs, all right? Uh, sure, NVIDIA is great, obviously, but, uh, you know, let's not toss aside AMD so look guys um, this is great news I just wanted to do this quick video just to kind of talk about it give you my uh, if you will uh, two cents on it and like I said I'm, I'm really excited about PlayStation 5 now in terms of pricing I'm probably guessing uh, $500 you know, one terabyte. They might have different versions. Maybe uh, if you want to go with the five terabytes, maybe six hundred. I don't know, but uh, probably I'm looking five hundred, like a base, base console, probably five five hundred. So, 
anyway there you go there you have it uh, I just wanted to do this quick video and um, just talk about it give you my two cents on it um, this is recorded in native 4k so I hopefully you guys enjoy this I mean look right now look the kind of games that we're getting from PlayStation 4 Pro uh, and just imagine what PlayStation 5 is gonna do as far as the Xbox I don't know guys as far as the uh, as far as the Xbox I, I mean it's, it's really becoming laughable and I mean this in a nice way I saw that commercial today for the uh, the Xbox One S digital and this commercial was like a very cringe-worthy commercial where they just sit around the table and they were saying this is the most innovative thing or something uh, take away the uh, the disc out of the console and everything's digital no one would have believed that, that there would be a console where you don't need a disc and everything's digital everything's online digital it's like such a cringe-worthy commercial I mean I don't know what's going on with I think honestly I think Xbox is just <sighs> and I know, I know I'm gonna take a lot of heat for this I know I'm gonna take a lot of heat for this but at this point Xbox has become a laughing stock they shouldn't even they shouldn't dare Phil Spencer shouldn't dare open his mouth and say we're in competition with Sony there's no way in hell just no way in hell that you that anyone will be able to compete with Sony now Sony right now is just like we don't even need to do e3 show we're just sitting we're, we're pretty much the gods of consoles right now at this point Sony is the gods of consoles and you better pre-order PlayStation 5 because this thing will be in shortage this thing is gonna have the same problems that uh, 2000 uh, PlayStation 2 had you know this console is gonna be very very difficult to find so my advice to you guys is pre-order this shit as soon as uh, sh uh, Sean Layden opens his mouth and says here's the price pre-order right now hit the pre-order on Amazon and that's that all right, well, there you have it, guys. I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to make this quick video and just uh, talk about it really quick. So um, that's how I feel about it, okay? Thank you for watching, and don't forget, uh, I'm going to do the unboxing of uh, my super ultra-wide monitor from Samsung. Qlit. Uh, I'm going to spend Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, those four days, uh, just trying to give you the best possible look into the uh, monitor and let you know if it's worth it, is it not worth it, for whom it is, who should buy it, who shouldn't buy it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to dedicate like three to four days on that monitor just to give you guys some idea and then we're gonna get back to the televisions and all that okay so there you have it I hope you guys enjoy this uh, new logo that I put on there mr. fork upscaler and I hope you enjoy this uh, stunning quality in native 4k you will have to wait for the YouTube to process this guys okay so there you have it thank you for watching cheers